Welcome cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws to the Slick Six Guns Network. I'm your host, Slick Six Guns, and this week we are going to be reassembling the Colt Single Action Army. That and more, stay tuned. Put my ejector rod housing screw back in its place. I'll make sure that the ejector rod housing works, which it does. I'm going to go ahead and flip her over. The last thing to come out was the bolt. Put the bolt back in. You might need a punch sort of assist you and make sure that these parts go in correctly. Take my hammer and my hand, put those in. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my bolt screw and at least put it in place so that it can be screwed in. I'm going to take my trigger, put the trigger in place where it's supposed to go. Put the trigger screw in. Take the bolt spring, there we go, take my bolt spring screw, and screw that down. Go ahead and tighten down my trigger screw and my bolt screw. Take my hammer screw, put that in. So we've got the frame together, so we're going to go ahead and uh, check it. Make sure that we do a functions check so that we know so far at this point that it's not messed up and we can continue to put it back together. Otherwise, we're going to have to take it apart again. So I'm going to put it to half cock. And the way that you tell that this is actually functioning is that you check the bolt. And if the bolt goes down, you know that it's actually working. All right, so at half cock, the bolts should go down, which it is. I can open the loading gate. I'm good. Go to full cock. The bolt comes up, which it does. It's ready to fire. I pull the trigger. Drops down. The bolt still stays up. Okay, so we know that that's together. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside. And the next thing we're going to do is you're actually going to go ahead and start putting our lower portion of our grip frame together. So we're going to go ahead and take our main spring and we're going to go ahead and start screwing that on. 
With the mainspring, you're going to want to leave it just a little bit loose. I'm going to go ahead and hand start it here. All right, and you just need to tighten it enough so that the uh, mainspring can still move. There you go. But it's not completely tightened to the point where it's fixed. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put the lower grip frame onto the frame. We're going to put the trigger through its slot. And we're going to just leave the mainspring kind of hanging. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to put a screw in the very front bottom. You always want to start there first. Uh, kind of take these screws, put these screws back in in the order, uh, in the reverse order that you took them out of. It's a lot easier to remember it that way. And then we're going to go ahead and take the other ones. Drop those in there. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take the mainspring, we're going to lower it down, and we're just going to put it underneath the hammer. The mainspring should always end up underneath this little uh, spindle ball right here. Otherwise, if you end up on top of it, uh, it's actually not even going to move forward. It's just going to stay in one place. So we're going to go ahead and tighten down the mainspring. I'm going to go ahead and put the last of the grip frame screws on. Put the grip screw on here. Put the cylinder back in. Put the base pin back in. All right, now that we finally got it all together, we're going to go ahead and do a quick functions check. We're going to go ahead and make sure that the cylinder does not move when the hammer is down and the trigger is already depressed, which it doesn't. We're going to go ahead and put it on the safety notch. All right, it doesn't move. The cylinder doesn't move. We pull the trigger. The hammer doesn't drop. We put it on half cock. The cylinder does spin freely, which it's supposed to. The loading gate opens, close the loading gate, 
put it to full cock, make sure that the cylinder does not move, which it doesn't, and then go ahead and lower the hammer. And there you go. You have the Colt Single Action Army fully reassembled. That concludes my video on a reassembly of the Colt Single Action Army. I'll see you again next time. Well, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you're looking forward to the next video, I'll be seeing you on down the trail. Have a good one.